Hi right, and welcome. In this video, I will be discussing the different units that you will be using and you will encounter as you take the class in AP Physics 1. So here's your formula sheet. This formula sheet will be your friend for the whole school year, including the day of the test. You will be provided a copy of this formula sheet and that provides you with support in terms of not forgetting any of those uh, vital information about um, the class. Now, first thing that we should be going over is the unit of symbols. So if I will zoom in, which is right here in this section, unit of symbols. Okay. And at the same time, let's go over prefixes. Okay, prefixes. So this section right here. Now I do have a different copy that is already zoomed in or uh, blown so that you could see it. So technically, there are three units, the fundamental units in AP Physics 1. First one is in terms of meters, which is right here. So meters is used to measure anything that has length. Sometimes we talk about distance. Third, we have displacement. as well as height. Okay. So anything that has something to do about distance or length, that is your meters. So for example, you want to figure out how long the pen, the pen is, you will be measuring this in terms of meters. Okay. I know it's so good in terms of meters, that's why there will be some conversion factors that we have to learn. In terms of mass, it will be measured using kilograms, so mass. So mass, how much matter it contains in an object. Last but not least is your measurement of time, also known as period. So a period or time is represented by the measurement of seconds. Okay, so second, 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 seconds. So there are three fundamental measurements, and we're using the metric system. Okay, so metric system. So in this class, we will not use the uh, English system. Unlike in your math class, we will be using metric system. So anything that is science related is all measured in metric. So that's why it's called MKS, which stands for meters, kilograms, and then seconds. So these are the three fundamental of measurement. Now, in terms of making it specific about, is it um, meters or kilometers or is it centimeters or millimeters? So that's why we have the different, different pre prefixes. So if you notice, we have kilo and then we have centi, okay, so middle part. So there should be a base unit. So in between them, there should be a base unit. So let me just annotate here. So there should be a base unit. And what is that base unit? So kilo, mega, giga, tera does not matter if there's no base unit. Same thing with centi, milli, micro, nano, and pico. So there should always be a unit, okay, the base unit. Now let's start with the base unit of length, which is meters. So we have meters, for example. So if I add the unit of kilometers, so meaning that is times 10 to the third, or we have to multiply it. So if I'm going up, okay, so if I'm going up, so from meter going to a bigger substance, basically you are supposed to divide it by a thousand. So if you go up, let's start with a unit of meters. So that is going to be kilometers. And then you have megameters, gigameters, and terameters. But there's only one unit that we're going to be using, and that is kilometers or meters. So if it's too big, make sure that this kilometer must be converted into meters. If it's too small, that kilometer should be converted into centimeters or millimeters. So cm and mm. So this is for your unit of length or distance. Now let's talk about the next one, which is grams 
the unit is grams. Okay, so grams. So if you go up with K, so that will give us kilograms. Going down, centigram, milligram. So we don't use centigram, but in reality, we only use milligrams. Okay, so we only use milligrams, mg. Or microgram if you're buying medication. So microgram, milligrams. But for this class, we will focus on the use of kilograms. Last but not least is your seconds. Unit of time, second. So when we talk about second, we have millisecond. So basically, we only have ms, millisecond. We don't use anything that is like centiseconds, microsecond, nanoseconds, picosecond. Yet it's possible, but for this class, we will focus on seconds or millisecond, kilograms or grams, meters or kilometers or centimeters or millimeters. But we all have to convert them into meters, kilograms, I'm sorry. It should be meters, kilograms, and seconds only. So in solving problems, make sure that you will be using those units. Hope this will clear you up in terms of your next lesson, which is converting units.